I'm Linda D'Antonio. I've got Joe monitoring comments tonight. Uh, this is our first um, session on Iron Orchid Designs TV. And I just, uh, I'm gonna try and, and introduce myself. We have a shop on Cape Cod, Massachusetts. If you've ever been, let us know. And let us know if you're on, say hi, and where you're from. Help out a girl on her first time on IOD TV. Ha! <laughs> Yay, I'm so excited. I hope you are too. Um, as you can probably tell, since we're coastal, uh, a lot of the stuff that we do in our store is coastal themed. And um, a lot of the decor that we do is coastal themed. So, you know, mermaids are kind of a big thing and of course seahorses and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, we do a, a mixture of different things. And, and you'll see that as we go along every Wednesday here on IOD TV, 6 o'clock p.m. every Wednesday. So, if you're not familiar with Iron Orchid Designs and you want to be, Say hi, I'm going to get, hi, Ann, how are you doing? Where are you from? New York. Oh, cool, New York. Awesome. Say, say hi to Lori from Kansas. Hi, Lori, how are you? How's Kansas? Cold? Is, is it cold there, too? Um, but anyways, I want you to go to um, ironorchiddesigns.com uh, slash find a retailer. Um, you can also just go under their menu and find it and that will you can look under brick and mortar stores to find your local store Or if that isn't too close to you, you can find them online. Say hi, Isabel. Isabel, hi! From Florida. Whoop, whoop. Oh, Joe's gonna be jealous. And Lisa from Kansas. Shh, Florida. He wants to go so bad. Lisa I love from it Kansas. here on Kate. Hey, Lisa, how are you? How are you? Hi, hi. Mike from Winnipeg. You know, hey. Mike. Oh, Mike, Mike, how you doing? Big Mike. So that's kind of who we are. We've I'm been in business Nebraska. as a store here in Nebraska. Nice. Nice. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Um, the, James from I can't Michigan. see the comments, so Joe's going to definitely have to keep me going. Who's out in Michigan? James. Nice. Hi, James. Woo! So I'm a Michigander, by the way. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm, uh, um, I'm hoping, um, but it's okay, but I, I happen to be the go blue kind of Michigan. Whoop, whoop. And, and it, of course, works with the New England Patriots, but, you know, that's how it goes. Um, Michigan. Ah, another one. Nice. Who was that, Michigan? Kathy. Hey, Kathy. How you doing? All right. So let me give you a little preview of what we're going to work on tonight because we want to get rolling on this. We really do. Linda from Norway. Linda from Norway. Awesome. That's another Linda. Okay, All right. California. Yeah. Why don't I say all the hellos? Yeah, you did the hellos. <laughs> Hi, Cindy from San Diego. So this is what we're going to be working on. I'm going to give you kind of a peek this way because this is how it's going to go on a wall. And it's a cute little, I believe it used to be on a hutch, um, but we're going to um, hang it on a wall that was already done that way. Um, it has some holes, so hence we're going to be putting molds on it. And then I thought this really isn't very useful, and so we're going to be putting transfer in there. Um, you'll still get the reflection, but we're going to make it pretty. So let me just put this down, and I'm going to swing the camera around. I'm going to try not to make y'all sick. How about that? Let's see if we can do that. All right. Cataranza for Poland. Ooh, Poposka, Dobja. <laughs> okay. And if anyone's having problems seeing anything, let us know. Can you hear us? Can you see us? All right. Let's see how this angle works for us. So I've already prepped this. Um, and that means I have uh, tack sanded this with a light sandpaper. I've cleaned it with a, a furniture cleaner. You can use denatured alcohol. Um, I've already cleaned the mirror. Um, when, when I go to paint this, I will have to be careful and do a nice little edging because we are going to, for IOD's sake, we're going to um, be putting the transfer on here um, before it's painted because we might not get time to get to the painting. All right, so... Let's see, do you want, all right, someone tell me, do you want to do transfers first or molds first? Is anyone answering? All right. Yeah. All right, well, if anyone knows, let me know. I want to. Do the transfer last. Do the transfer last, okay. Let's do some molds first. You don't get any. 
Same thing on the glass. Okay. Transfer, they said. Oh, transfer. You got it. So, what I have picked out is a little bit um, from the Be Thou, My Vision. Um, if you saw behind me where I was just standing, there was the top portion, and I have the bottom portion left. And I picked this part of it, I don't know if you can see that, to go on this part of the mirror. And I'm just going to center it by eye. I have cleaned this. Um, you can use water and vinegar solution. Um, and then I actually went over just to be really safe with a little bit of isopropyl rubbing alcohol. And let that dry completely. And um, so this is now set down. The transfer is clean. I, as you see, I just took the backing off. Very important to keep everything clean, clean, clean. You saw me wipe the mirror to get any dust off before doing this as well. And um, we're just going to trim this oval so we don't hit transfer where we don't want to. All right. Right in there. Okay. And right here we'll take it off. Is anyone apprehensive about using transfers? Who loves them? Who's afraid of them? Let me know. Hi, Australia in the house. Hey, overseas. We have family in Australia near Sydney area. I hope, I pray that you are well there. Um, I know that they're, where their home is, they're okay. Um, and their winery is in danger. All right, so we're just going to start rubbing this down. And when you're doing the transfers on glass, it goes very easily. Like this is pretty much stuck already. Look at this. If you're not moving the transfer, you don't have to worry about it misaligning when you're checking out if it's sticking. If you can get the little air bubble to do this work for you, all the better. Let's see, because of this little lip, I'm having a tough time there. There, hear that little plasticky sound? That is what we're looking for. So who loves working with the transfers? Who's afraid, Joe? Anyone answering? Not yet. All right. If you have any questions about this, I'd be happy, happy, happy to answer. So, yeah, that, see, now look it. It's done all the work. You shouldn't be having to scrape, scrape, scrape. If you get too much of a bubble, it can adjust a little bit, but that's okay. Um, Iron Orchid Designs, the sisters do a great job of adding distress to their work, which is an in-look anyways. And it's really helpful if these do adjust too much with these little riding the bubble, I call it. All right. The most important part about transfers is you want to make sure that these are burnished down well. Just because they're off of the backing does not mean that they are really adhered down. So I'm always going over it. All right. Even though it's all down, I want to make sure that it's actually adhering to the mirror well. Um, you can take a damp cloth on your fingertip. I like to use the plastic and you just kind of go and you rub it along. If this was a piece of furniture or something, you could also afterwards, you could go and um, do like a, like a fine grit sandpaper and you could sand the edges a little bit, make sure they're all down well and distress it some more if you like. All right, so we got that down. Let's pick, um, I don't know if we need any more of that. Let's try a little reduced. This is one of my go-tos. I love the little pop of red. Um, we're gonna cut, we're gonna separate this a little bit. I've already kind of separated it. And we'll put, I don't know, this up in here maybe. What do you think, I think up there? And 
then this down in here. Let's trim this off a little bit. All right. right there I'm going I'm sticking with it because you know what no matter where that goes it's gonna look beautiful as long as I've got my stems into the edge that's that's good see you can layer the transfers you can layer them and then sand them back and have the the, the, the earlier layers of your transfers kind of distress through to the top layers you can have so much fun with Iron Orca Design products. Now, let's get this bubble going for us. Because I want to get this done because I want to get to the mold. This will be so fun. Of course, my go-to is stamps, believe it or not. I love the stamps. What's your favorite Iron Orchid Design products? Come on, pop in, pop in some answers here. What's your go-to? Who likes the stamps? Who likes the molds? down and rubbing it down rubbing it down making sure it's all Kathy likes them all together yeah all the transfers are her favorite yeah it's always you know they're the big they're definitely the big wows I think the stamps though you know it's like oh you could use them on so many different um, products or um, mediums. I don't know. They're just, they're just, they're fun. I love them. And you can't go wrong. They've made it so easy to work with the product. I break it from Germany. Ooh. Break it. How are you doing in Germany? She loves transfers. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, so there we go, and I can always add a few more words down the road if I feel like it. So we're gonna move on to the molds. Let's keep this party rolling. So I was thinking, and this is, you can, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the, the, the new um, rose mold. Right? What do you think? But there's also the swag. If I can get this to fit underneath. I think we can do a couple of those. Or one of those and maybe a couple of these is what I'm thinking. And then we'll go from there. Maybe a butterfly. Maybe a bird. Let's see. So, who hasn't worked with molds before? Has anyone not worked with molds before? Things that you want to have for the molds. I'm using this uh, Fast Tac Aileen's um, glue. And I didn't want it to dry out, but I guess I should have taken some time and did this ahead of time. Actually, we'll hand this to Joe maybe and get him to squeeze them, put them out on here for me. Woohoo! Get your arm muscles ready. The other thing you're going to need is some good old-fashioned, we're using Argo, but, you know, any cornstarch will do. Um, this what, what this does is if you dust the mold lightly with the cornstarch, if you're going to have any release issues pulling out the mold with the air-dry clay, the paper clay, 
Um, this will allow the clay to, to remove easily. Um, if you haven't worked with Iron Orchid Designs uh, air dry clay, I highly suggest it. Um, I've tried them both. I've, I've done the video before. In the moment, I, was, I went and used uh, another brand because I was going to be out of my uh, air dry clay. I needed to place an order. And so I went to the local store and I bought another kind. And immediately I could tell the difference. It was night and day. See, when you're working with the air dry clay, that's what it looks like in the package if you haven't seen it. All right. You always want to kind of keep it damp. Um, this should probably get dampened again. I always keep a damp towel in the pack, in the baggie with it. You just want to work it. Just very pliable, very easy to work with. And all you need to do is, see how that works so far, is just press it in. And there's no go-to perfect way of, of getting these molds um, formed. And you don't have to use just the, um, the air dry clays or the paper clays. You can use, um, I've used the, uh, what do you call it? The quick set resin. I have used this hot glue. There's so many different ways of, of using these. Whatever your project calls for um, is a good thing to use. There's no right, wrong, perfect, whatever works for you. And what you're seeing me do is I'm taking a little putty knife and I'm just kind of shaving off the back so it's nice and flat. I should, probably should have grabbed a bigger one. Oh well. This is so fun. You can take a piece that's so plain Jane, and you can really jazz it up. I mean, here at Seaporium, I mean, we have taken some pieces over the time that we've been with IOD, and it just amazes me the difference. Um, see, now we're going to use gravity to get this mold out. Gail's never used the products. Gail never used it. Oh my goodness, Gail, if you like uh, um, to create, you like... Um, just making things. Um, if you've tried different routes and you and, and if you're like me, I used to always, you know, oh, I got, I, I like something, but I want to do something jazzed up, a little more fancy, and it's hard to find the right thing. And these products, like, if I wanted to, you know, like this, like if this was a, a wood molding at at, at the local hardware store, this, uh, you don't, you wouldn't have much t ability to change it up and make it for you. The nice thing about these is like, I can use part of this. I can use this plus other things and really make it fit. I can layer it. I can do so much with the products. I can use this with the air dry clay. I can use it with resins. I can use this with fondants or chocolates or dough. Uh, it's amazing, really. And it really takes the hard work out of your projects. Say hi, Peter. Florida. Hey, Peter, how are you? Good to see you here. Sort of. Not really seeing you, but you know, you're seeing, well, you're not seeing me either, are you? <laughs> and I'm sure you've got something fun to say back on that. So we have that, and I'm thinking about putting maybe, again, the cornstarch. Um, maybe one of these little dollops. Maybe, huh? Okay. All right. And, and let us know if anyone's having any difficulty with, um, Hearing us or seeing us? This is a first time for us, so any help is appreciated. 
Let us know other things you'd like us to do on Wednesdays. We like having fun. We like trying something new. Let's see, what do you think? I think we need to bring this up a hair with, what can we bring it up with? I know. So we're going to take this little portion here. See, this is what I'm talking about. You can really take these and, 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 and work it to what you need. Do you want some of this clay you're working with? Yes. This is the Iron Orchid Design Air Dry Clay. Love, love, love. And I've tried them all. Love, love, love the Air Dry Clay. Um, it is my go-to to use the air dry clay. I like that it does crack sometimes, but it, I'll tell you, not half as much as other time as the other brands. Um, there's also a little trick that can um, help, not a, maybe eliminate. I don't think that's the word I'm looking for, but reduce the risk. That's a bet. Oh, big words. I like that <laughs> um, of the clay drying. And that is um, when you when I go to glue this on, and you want to do all this when it's wet. When I go to glue these on, I want to press these together and inward as much as I can. Because working with this and pulling it out of the mold and all that, I've stretched the clay. So by kind of pressing it back together when I'm gluing it, it will help that shrink. It'll help it. Let's see, let's cut a little bit of this off. That's what I'm talking about, how we're gonna make this work for us. 620. Okay, 20 minutes into this already? How does that even happen? How does it happen? Maybe we'll use, no, I like, I'm gonna maybe do this. And if I just really press these together, they shouldn't separate too much. Now, and then we can take like a little medallion flower and put that there. How about that? How about them bananas? Apples. Apples. Them apples. <laughs> the wrong fruit. <laughs> Okay, so we could do something like that. I think I'm liking that so far. What do you guys think? Is that looking good? Let's get the other side ready here. And for the gal who said she's never worked with the products before, um, there are so many videos from That's all cool. the stockists. If there's a stockist near you, go say hi, go introduce yourself. They'll be happy, happy, if they're anything like me, to show you how these all work. There's plenty of videos here on Iron Orchid Design's Facebook page. Um, there's just so many avenues to, to show you how all these products work. And they are so fun. Be ready. Be ready. Because you're really going to enjoy it. Welcome to the club, shall I say, huh? Okay. There's also some little cheap tools that I have. Let's say I indented something too much, or I really want to make something blend more. I use these little tools. I don't even know where I got this from. I broke the one end. From your dentist. <laughs> I didn't get it from my dentist, honest. I think it was from doll making. Um, but this is a little handy tool to have. It's very small, as you can see. I also you'll use a palette knife. I've used a little stylus. Broke this too. I don't even know how that happens. No idea. 
So you could do things, you know, and just kind of disguise and you can make more flourishes or really blend, blend it out. That's what I do. But and then one more medallion flower and our little droopy and we're good to go. So I put in there into the title and I was actually thinking of change, you know, having our Wednesday whimsy actually being something about playing in the sandbox. Because that's what it feels like here. Uh, we're, we're working with Iron Orchid Designs. Uh, everyone, all the stockists are, 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 are so fun. They're so knowledgeable and they're so willing to share. And just working here and doing what I love. We had uh, a friend that would walk by uh, the store and he would have the biggest smile walking by and he said, there you go, playing in the sandbox again. And, I, and, it's, and ever since then, you know, ever since he's no, long, he's no longer around, um, he was a seasonal person here. And here on Cape Cod, that happens. We get our summer people, and um, as we call wash ashores or tiders. And um, it's so true. We, we, we are always having fun playing in the sandbox here. How long does it take for the clay to dry? This will be like an overnight process but you don't have to wait for it to dry to do what you're going to do. Can you, you, paint it? you can paint it while it's still wet. Is it stainable? Um, not really stainable. It, um, I haven't really tried staining it. I mean, stain will sink into anything porous. So in, in that respect, yes, but it's not a wood product. So if you were going to put stain on, on a plaster on your wall, it would work that way. I hope that answers your question. There, okay. Now, let's add, oh, we got these little holes over here. And let's see. I haven't gotten a chance to really play with the rose molds yet. But I'm thinking we'll do a little grouping. And I'm gonna do it the same on each side because everything here has been kind of symmetrical. I'm digging, I'm digging this and maybe a bud. And I'm sticking with it, folks. That's what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. And again, if you're interested and you haven't had a chance to um, play with the products, um, Find your local stockist. They are so happy to help you. I can't even tell you. We just, we love sharing our love for the product. The, the company is awesome. The girls are, 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 are amazing. And it's such a great company to work for. You're going to love working with, with the stockist. You're going to love work, uh, working with the Iron Orchid Design products. That's, I mean, I can't, I can't stress it enough. And as you'll see, if you've never been on the, on the videos, you'll see everyone here that they're watching every week and they're, everyone's friends. Everyone's looking out for each other. And it's so nice to be a part of. We're blessed to be a part of something so great. All right, so that's that. Look how easy that is. And so we'll do a a bud. And I'll show you too before it gets too late into this. I'll make sure I get some glue on here. And show you this. So. Stuck together. Yep, yeah, good. We're going to glue this while it's still wet. And then I could actually go and paint it after while it's still wet. It's actually what you want to do. You want to paint while it's still wet. So after this, we might go live on our page and keep working um, and get a coat of paint on here. I was holding up some paint, so I'm thinking I'm, I, I tend to go to a white. I might do an off-white, but I'm really liking the idea of just a green and glaze. Either way, there'll be a glaze to show the details of the molds. You just, um, if no one's worked with glaze before, that's, it's like, 
when you're working with with the waxes you just um, paint it in and wipe it off and all the glaze sets into all these little nooks and crannies of the molds and uh, the details of your piece uh, any of the uh, molding um, even if there's you know some nail holes and scratches and things like that wood grain will show it just really brings the character of your piece out um, love working with glaze it's a slow dry product so and it's a go-to that in the dark antiquing wax or go-to with the molding all right so we're gonna put that again remember when I'm gluing it down I'm pushing it together together 630 okay we're almost there So tomorrow's a big day, big day. If you haven't heard, all day tomorrow, starting at 10 a.m. on this Iron Orchid Designs page, we are having a retirement party. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I don't know whether to be happy or sad, um, but you'll find out tomorrow. Every hour, one of us will be on. Starting, uh, we're, think we're starting with Lynn Brundage, Ellen J. Goods in the morning, and then Michelle Papard, my sort of neighbor up in New Hampshire. Um, Susan from Michigan. Hey, Susan! Fellow Michigander in the house. Well, use her finger for the glue. Oh, well, yeah, you could use that, but um, it just, it's only so long I like peeling the glue off my fingers after. Again, I'm just using a little tool. Just to kind of add it because I'm pressing and I'm losing some details. There. Cheater way. Cheater's way. I'm owning up to it. Okay, so that's what we do. And normally I wouldn't be putting the transfer on right now, but just for the purpose of the Iron Orchid Design TV, we are. And that's okay, because we'll just get like a fine artist brush and paint inside of here. No biggie. You can use any paints with these, any water-based paints. Um, there's also the transfers. Uh, they have the paintables you can paint over them I'd probably give it a seal and then paint uh, seal up your seal up your um, what's the word I'm looking for transfer big word there huh uh, seal it up and then you can kind of paint over it and that is so fun if you haven't done a paintable oh just get like a glass of wine and just you know coffee, whatever's your, your, your happy place there, and just have fun, really. And pressing it in, in, a little more glue. Okay. So tomorrow we will be on at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Six minutes to walk. To announce something, you'll have to find out. Tomorrow we will be on, and I will have a box of Kleenex. Just saying. Okay, that's six minutes. And I hope to see you back next Wednesday. If there's anything in particular that you would like to see us do, uh, are you more interested in the molds or the transfers? Um, shout it out. Let us know what it is that you want to see done. All right, I'm going to continue with this. Peace out.
And if you're interested to see what we're doing after, please, 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 woo, come over onto our page. Yeah, five minutes. That's Seporium, uh, Facebook, and then just slash Seporium. Um, we're on Instagram and everything, but yeah, just we'll be continuing this for a little while tonight. And, and we hope to see you back. See you tomorrow on this Ironworker Designs page because it's a big day tomorrow. It's a big retirement party. And if you're interested to see what's, what's not going to be around much longer, you better be watching. And I'll be there and I'll be here 7 o'clock tomorrow. All right, everyone, you have a great night. And until next time. Bye.